<laughs> What's up? It's MJK back with episode two of Talk That Talk, powered by Ballers Bridge, with my co-host AT. Up. Uh, Last episode we had Adam Miller, Illinois. Um, and this week we are here with four-star senior California Ty Powell. Ty was highly recruited prospect throughout his junior season in high school. Held offers from UC Irvine, Nevada, TCU, and others. But he recently just committed to Seton Hall to play his college ball next fall. At Seton Hall, Todd's going to team up with Ryan Conway, who's a three-star guard and four-star forward wing, uh, Brandon Weston. How we doing, Ty? Man, I'm good. I'm chilling. Chilling. Enjoying the deal. All right, so we're going to get right into it. So, Ty, you start off high school playing AAU ball with Cal Supreme, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And like that's when you first kind of started getting like offers and interest. Like, how'd that feel? And like, th- is that when you realized you were like a D one player? For me, yeah. For me, yeah. Um, like when I played in middle school, I didn't know basketball was gonna be my passion. Well, actually, I did. I didn't know I was gonna be like this good or like make it this far. Uh, it was just something just to get by and for me, just like just to keep time going. But as I kept playing, I just kept falling in love with it. And then from there, when I started playing for Cal Supreme, and, and once I started like getting that confidence and you know feeling my feeling myself, I would just from there I was just like, yeah, this, this is it, this is it. Do you remember like a certain moment, or did you hit like a certain gear where you were like, yeah, this could work? For me, I did hit that certain gear, and, and it was it was freshman year actually. It was freshman year. Uh, it was actually when I played high school before I played for uh, Cal Supreme. So, were you just dominating like twenty points per game, like stuff like that? Was it? It wasn't twenty points per game though. I, <laughs> it wasn't twenty points per game. I was I was working though. I was working hard. I was just making sure, um, you know, I was doing what I got to do to you know get the team to win. So, but I wasn't getting twenty points though. It, it, you know. <laughs> It's the little stuff. It, it was just the little things you saw, though. Just like yeah. little moves in your game where you were like, "Yeah, I can, I can really develop this." For sure, yeah, for yeah, sure, yeah, definitely. Because not always gonna be the points. It's the vision. It's the vision. The the comfort, like comfort level on the court. Yeah, for sure. I I just worked hard. I I didn't on my freshman year. I didn't score the most points in the game. Uh, I had another star player on who's scoring us. Who's scoring the most points in the game? I was I was just that guy. You know, I was, I, was, I was more of a big man my freshman year. I was playing the big. So, me 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 playing that freshman year kind of like it was a it was a learning experience for me. So, I'm glad I had the learning experience. That's, that's funny you mentioned that you're playing a, a big man role. I was I was looking at a bunch of highlights and stuff of uh, you, like, the yeah. past couple of days, and they were calling you a man child when you were freshman year and, and stuff like <laughs> yeah. that. Like, you're a big boy, and, and it's funny yeah. that – you're uh, you're smooth enough to play guard position and stuff like that, and how you've transformed your game. For sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, so the next question is: Last summer you ran with 16U, why not? And was there like a reason for like going to the EYBL? And if so, like what was the reason? For me, uh, Cal Supreme. Uh, something that happened with Cal Supreme uh, to where they lost their uh, EYBL sponsorship. At that time, it was a very stressful time because, you know, I'm, I'm all about loyalty, and, you know, staying with the team, you know, rocking with the team. But I, it was best for me. And I feel like why not fit that, uh, you know, it, it fit that category for me. So when I ran with them, they instantly just showed love to me. Uh, it wasn't any, like, you know, barriers. Once I got there, it was just like we, me and the, the coaches and – my teammates, we all just connected, so. Yeah, I was going to say about why not. I only watched your 16-year team once, but their 17-year team is definitely like a family, like the way they're on the court and off the court, and the coaches treat the players with a certain like a certain level of respect. Obviously, they coach For them, sure. but they also treat them like their family. They're like, they don't treat them like they're under them. They treat them like, hey, we're peers, but I'm going to correct what you do, and you can correct what I do, too. And that's always something I saw between the coaches and the players. For sure, and that, I feel like that's why I feel like that's why they got to peach. I feel like you know, when you have that connection, and that chemistry, it will take you a long way. So yeah, yeah. Not gonna talk about the peach jam when Namari hops on next. 
because he hopping on next episode. So I'm not going to bring that one up. I'm going to leave that one out of the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> he don't want to relive that two years in a row. That was tough. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like the point you made, Max, about like uh, kind of like a family with AAU because a lot of AAU pr- programs, like people don't know, they they can kind of be wishy washy, wishy washy. Yeah, sure. Sorry, if you uh, if you don't have the right coaching, you don't have the right personnel, stuff like that. For right, sure, term, mismatch stuff like that. That's, well, that's kind of yeah. cool that you found your uh, your spot. For sure, some for were sure. some were cool, like out of state too, and like go out of their way instead of just like keeping who's around them and who's been loyal to them and stuff like that. And I think like a team like why not? Like obviously they had like Jalen Green come play for them, but that was because Namar and him were gonna team up the next year. But they like they played some like kids that were like low D one on their seventeen U team. I feel like anybody ever watched them, you wouldn't just see that from the highlights. But they played some kids that had been on the team why not since day one, like real minutes, like twenty minutes a game, fifteen minutes a game. They kept those kids because they like they knew them and they trusted them on the court. For sure, for sure. And part of that is, like, they just they, – they knew their role. And when they played their role, and mm-hmm. once they, like, you know, when they seen – when when the why not family, when they seen them, like, you know, work hard and they kept going, you know, they – you know, you got a little, you got a little freeway. So, mm-hmm. definitely. Uh, let's get into your last school season. So, last year, you went – you go to Red Bay Academy, California. Yep. yep. I said that right? Yes, sir. Uh, they ain't the first cool. person I said that right. That's crazy. Nah, I, I texted, I'm not going to lie, Ty. I texted bad people. I was like, yo, how do I pronounce this shit? Like, I'm not trying to mess up here. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all had a great cool. season, but COVID obviously cut that short. Uh, what was it like to experience success with, a, like, most of your groups are t- turning, plus you're adding a few kids, but, like, Snooky's leaving, but then, like, Trey's back and Barrington's back and you're back. So basically the core besides Snooky, Snooky is back. Do you think, like, that's going to carry into next season? Yeah, it's going to carry in the next season. You know, Snooki is a, one of the best players I play with. Um, me and him me and him played with each other uh, since middle school. But, you know, Snooki was that guy to where if he needed him to score, he would score. Or if he needed him to do something, he would do it. Um, you know, I feel like the core, I feel like we're going to come back stronger because now that we trade – with us and you know some other kids we're building that chemistry and once Trey came he instantly just like he just gravitated towards our towards our flow so it was just like it just came natural to him yeah Trey's the type of guy who could he's really like a team for like kind of like a playmaker like he fits in a lot of places and he like he's like a wicked nice humble I'm gonna get him on here for sure he's one of the best people I've met in basketball be a good person for sure for sure All right, let's talk about the shot so before COVID you hit the game with saw. I forget who you guys were playing, but it was to send you guys to the semifinals against Sierra or the finals, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what was like what went through your head when you got the ball, clutch moment to go advance? To be honest, it was just shoot the ball. Um yeah. I was I was um I I was, I just shot the ball like, you know. I was I don't know. It was a lot of stuff going in my mind. I was like, I don't want to miss it, but I have the confidence just to shoot the ball. And I feel like if you don't if you don't think too much about shooting the ball and you just shoot it, then most likely it's gonna go in. And if you miss it, then you miss it. You gotta just go with the flow, really. It, the, the game's gonna keep going, so there's no time to have an attitude for missing. So that was my mindset. Um and then sending it to uh then play Sierra after that, like like Sierra's Great team. Obviously, you guys would have given them a battle in the playoffs, but, like, were you just, like, bummed, like, for, like, COVID ending that? Like, because you guys probably want revenge and stuff like that. But like, sure. you, guys, you guys are probably playing a lot better than you did towards the beginning of the season just because you had more chemistry and everything. Like, what was that like, just not being able to get second chance at it? To be honest, I'm not going to lie. It was it was kind of hard. Um, you know, we, we did want to get back at it. Um, um, but unfortunately, you know, Corona happened. Um, but they knew they knew, they knew about me because uh, they were trying to box and won me the whole game. And then it's funny because the backstory about this is like after that game, they DM me and it was like, I "Told you it's gonna beat y'all." And I was like, "You know what? All right, for sure." <laughs> and I told them I was gonna we we're gonna go to state. I told them just straight like that, just point blank just blatantly like that and I was ready 
But then, you know, they, they got, got spirit. spirit. Yeah. <laughs> they got spirit. I feel you. Yeah, I feel like this season, though, if the, there is a season, it's all good. So, all right, going into that. For sure. This, this season, y'all added a couple of guys. Who'd you add? I saw it on Twitter. Oh, uh, we have we have a uh, Tuki. He actually transferred from Sierra Canyon. Yeah. Uh, it's Tuki Wigginson. Uh, we have a uh, the we have a big uh, Pierre. He he went to Prolific Prep. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have another big, and he came from Heritage Christian. And we have a guard, uh, Mike Price. He came from uh, Crespi. Gotcha. So, y'all like you confident this season? If the season happens? Oh, I'm very confident. I'm happy. I'm very confident. Have, have they Coach told y'all like more free ways? Oh yeah, it's a wrap. For sure, it's a wrap. I'm bringing up the ball and everything. I'm kind of happy about that. What yeah. do you think it's the like the league's gonna be like and uh, like for basketball in California because of COVID and everything? Like I I know I I saw that like um, at least in Massachusetts there's a ton of um, like restrictions on fall sports. So like, what do you think it's gonna be like for basketball and for you out there? For me, I, I I don't even know really. Um, like I, we don't start till March in California, so hopefully, hopefully we do get to start. But uh, other than that, um, we're gonna try and still get like practices in and uh, shoot arounds in with the team before then. So I feel like even with this starting so late, we'll be prepared for what March has to. Uh, Come so, so about uh, I saw Sierra Can is considering running as like a club team, like an AU team before the season. Have you all talked about that or no? Yeah, we actually did. We actually did. We actually did, and I hope and I hope it happens because I that, oh that's gonna be so fun. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be gonna so say. fun. You don't want to lose any of your senior year with your sure. basically like your best friends for the past four. For sure, I I wanted to at least play like my last year at AAU. Facts. That's kind of heartbreak when I sit when I seen about that. Yeah, that's tough. It was crazy. It was yeah. crazy. I was excited for it too. I was ready to be out there, but it man. Happened. All right, then we want to move into uh, kind of recruiting Seton Hall a little bit. Yeah, for sure. So you uh, you committed what this August August eighth something like that. Yeah. Like, how? what was that like, finally getting, like, that off your chest for finally committing to one team, one school right? For me, for yeah. me, it was a lot off my chest. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, it was a lot of things going through my mind. Uh, it was a lot of conversations with, you know, people that's been, been with me from the start of this process. Um, it was kind of hard talking. It was, it was kind of hard having the conversations, like, with the schools that, like, first recruited you mm-hmm. because you've been talking with them for so long. It's like you built this connection with the coaches. It's, like, more than basketball. And I, and I built that with, like, some of the coaches, like Pepperdine and, like, UC Irvine, even TCU. So it was kind of, like, I was kind of sad telling them. But at the same time, it was kind of, like, like relieved in a way because I know this is going to be, like, the better for my future. But it was a lot of – you know, there's a lot of stuff going in my mind. What was it about Seton Hall that really, like, stuck with you that you were like, this this can be my home for however many years? Like, was it the coaching staff, or the way they recruited you, anything? It was the coaching staff and the way they recruited me. Uh, before then, uh, my 16 year when I played 16 year well, why not? Um, Coach Grant had actually reached out to me, and he started recruiting me then. And from there, we, we kind of, like, connected. And he did – and he reached back after uh, this season. And uh, from there, we, we just kicked it off, really. It was a good – it was, like, a really good relationship. It was like I was talking to, like, my coach for high school. We will talk about just life and basketball and just, like, anything. It, was, it wasn't just strictly about basketball. Yeah, the yeah. system over there seems solid. I was going to say, going off that, too, like, people always say, like, 
Oh, I get like people on Twitter and stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Get like mad when people commit places. I I remember me and a kid on your poster going at it. Some Providence. Yeah. Thing, and I, was, I was like, yeah, I hope he gives us 50 now. Like, dang. God go to Providence. So, yeah, you can give us 50. You can take that though. All right. <laughs> This, we'll, <laughs> our home, we'll get it our home game. You can take it the away game. We'll, we'll Bro, it. I got to give you the backstory on that because he actually DM'd me after he commented. And he was like, Bro, I'm just messing around. It's all love. Like, he said it. And I haven't screenshotted, but I, he was just saying a whole bunch of wild stuff in the DM. Yeah, he it was basically for people like listening who don't know, like someone, oh, I'm not going to call his username out, but some Providence fan base were in the same. College league at Seton Hall commented like you overrated or something like you're not even like gonna get minutes at Seton Hall like look at your other offers which there were a lot of other offers actually but so I I obviously commented back I was like yo calm down like I don't think you're gonna get a full ride to college and they're like just leave him all alone and stuff like that and then he DM me too but he came at me he was like bro that dude sucks and I was like and then he apparently told you the opposite that's crazy so he's soft but I was I was fed up with that. Yeah, he he said that he said the exact opposite. But it's yeah, cool. exactly. that's why I pinned the comment. I literally pinned the comments for everybody just to see how foolish he looked. Like literally everybody. Like I didn't even know. Like people I didn't know were like respond to these dudes. Like bro, like what are you talking about? I didn't I didn't need to say anything, but he DM yeah. me, and I just like I didn't even respond. I just just looked at it. And then I restricted his account. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> We're gonna head so, back to college a little bit. Um, yes. Yeah, so, yeah, go ahead, Mac. Uh, I was gonna talk about B West because I know B West played with Mac Irvin. When uh, so when you committed to Seton Hall, did you like know B West was interested? Like, did you hit him up and stuff like that? No, I didn't even know B West was interested. Um, I was trying to. I was working on uh Sam. I was trying to get Sam because uh. I played me and me and Sam like me and him p- played with each other uh, last year. Uh, me and him played in Vegas, but I didn't know B West. Um, I didn't even see the Seton Hall in his top six. And it didn't occur to me. Yeah, and until he <laughs> sent it to me, and I was like, "Oh snap!" And I thought, I, like, literally when he had texted me that, I was like, "I was on him. I was on him." Yeah. But. Hopefully, you know, B West. Um, shoot, it's gonna it's gonna be a movie. It's gonna be a movie. I can't wait. Uh, we we also wanted to mention, uh, like I I know I saw in a few interviews of yours and stuff like that that like going from Cali to New or sorry New Jersey that's gonna be a, a big uh like switch. What's, what are you, like, most looking forward to and what, like, are you kind of apprehensive about, do you think? For me, I'm looking uh, forward to, like, the people there. Um, people's been showing me love uh, from New Jersey. And, I, you know, even from other schools, like, you know, people from, like, Rug- like Ruggers and, like, St. John's and, like, all these other schools in New Jersey, they're really, like, showing me love, like, I'm just looking forward to, like, going there, just, like, feeling the atmosphere. Of course, like, the, you know, basketball's going to also play a part. But, you know, I'm I'm not really, like, hard to talk to. You can always come with to talk to me. I don't care who you are. Um, You can you can literally, like, you know, I, I'm not the type of guy that's, like, you know, that's not going to talk to you. Mm-hmm. I'm not really Hollywood in the way. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's cold out here, though, bro. I'm going to tell you. I don't know if you've been oh, out I'm ready for that. No, nah, you're not. I, I would say that, too, bro, but you're not. It sucks. <laughs> There's points bro, you, like, you get up and you're like, oh, no. Like, bro, no boots. I'm going to be in a dorm playing 2K. <laughs> and I'm pooping. I'm yeah. chilling. I'm going. I'm, I'm literally hooping, and then I'm going in the dorm. That's it. Hooping, <laughs> and then dorm. Hooping, dorm. That's it. Not bad lifestyle. I hate that. <laughs> it's true. I'm a I'm a loner. I'm literally I'm a popular loner. I feel that. that that's I'm a, a homebody, so yeah, same. That's a fire quote. Popular loner. For sure. <laughs> might, be, might make the bio. 
that's actually a, a good segue into some of our quick hitters. Uh, what we uh, we want to ask you a few like light things, just some outside of basketball, you know. So uh, we want to know what shows you've been binging and uh, what what games you've been playing lately. Oh my, uh, <laughs> I've been watching all like, I've been watching like a lot of anime. Uh, you know, I'm still trying to get. I'm, I'm still trying to finish One Piece. Uh, it's a lot of episodes, so I don't know if I'm gonna finish it anytime soon. Uh, you know, I've been watching a whole bunch of anime like Black Clover. Um, it's been a, it's a lot. It's, I have a whole list. I have a whole list. I literally seen the whole list. But um, video games, though, I've been playing Modern Warfare. Not Warzone, though. I suck at Warzone. I hate Warzone. So overrated. Uh, it's not fun. Yeah, I, I, I am not good at Warzone. I don't get how people sit there in the house and literally just wait to the circle, just like, I don't know how people do it. I don't know. Facts. I, I, can't, I My couldn't ADHD sit there. My is too bad. Man. Man. Games will be like 45 minutes and you still lose? Like, come on. For like, sure. That's, that's like a waste of time. I, I, I'd, rather, <laughs> I'd rather play Fortnite. Facts. That's what I'm saying. If I'm gonna play Warzone, I'm, I'd rather just play Fortnite. All right, exactly. He's a big Warzone guy, though. That's all Aiden plays. Yeah. Bro, Aiden, bro, need to help me because like that zone is hard. I can't play hey, Warzone. We'll get some dubs for sure. But other than that, in the back. Back. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, you know, I do some editing myself. Editing. But yeah, what you edit? Well, I do anime edits like, and Snooky actually like kind of like he didn't know I did it, but when he saw me do it, he was like, "Bro, you do you do edits, bro?" And I was like, "Yeah, I've been I've been doing edits." But I started getting into that like in 2017. Yeah, I've seen some of the fire. You should promote yeah. them more, put them on Twitter and stuff. Bro, I don't know because like I don't I, I don't know. I just I just keep it to myself. I just post it on like Snapchat or whatever. Mm-hmm. Feel you. It's a it's a, dude, it's a good creative outlet. I, I like that. Get yeah. your mind off basketball a little bit, you know. For sure, for yeah. sure. That's cool. Uh, yep. what, what music been in your uh, rotation lately? Oh, Gunna Gunna is like Gunna's been my music rotation like. Bro, when I tell you, I literally be laying in the bed, and once I hear a Gunner song, like it's over. Like, like I'm literally, I'm literally floating. Like <laughs> LED lights funny. and all, like it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Bro. Like I'm literally laying in the bed, l- looking at the ceiling, and like once I hear Gunner, I'm in space. Like I'm in a whole different dimension by then. I'm not answering no calls. I'm not hopping on Warzone with the boys. I don't even play Warzone, so I'm definitely not hopping on. Like, I'm locking the door. Like, it's, it's, it's over. Yeah, the one funny. of the locks was crazy. That, that went crazy. Man, crazy. All right, we we asked uh, Adam this last last week, and it, it was uh he was he was stumped for a little bit, but. What's your best high school starting five that you put t- together from your class or the younger classes? Wait, you're talking about just like all time. You can pick anyone like, from your class, like in or, like the high school class. Yeah, yeah, like who's your like top five? Like you're, gonna, awesome. you're gonna make a class with like kids in your grade or younger than you, like still in high school. You can make like a super team. Ooh. Man, I'm going. I'm going with my base starting five. I'm cool. I told you he was gonna say yeah, that. I told, cool, I'm cool with my that. Five. I told you he was gonna say I'm that. Cool. I'm cool. I'm cool with my starting five. I'm cool. Yeah. I'm so I am. I, I don't care, bro. I'm I'm cool with my starting five. My starting five is better than anybody else's starting five. That's Max my mindset. Put the crib on that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really said, I bro. Said Max knows who I am. Like me and Max have that connection, baby. Come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I knew you weren't going to pick anyone else besides your teammates. I was like, there's no way. He doesn't say well, his team. This is my teammates all the way. Yeah. That's a good mentality I have. That's a leader mentality. For sure. Nobody else but my team. I like that. <laughs> all right. 
What's the least favorite shoe you've ever hooped in? Oh my god! Oh, oh, um, I have a whole list. The way my feet built, I don't know. It's like my feet don't like shoes, but uh, <laughs> uh, the worst well, I don't like the PGs. Like the like the new PGs, I have them in my closet, but it's like I don't know where it, I I forgot where the other shoe was, so it's gonna probably be hard to find it. Uh, I don't like hooping in PGs. I like the PG ones though. I like I like hooping in those, the EYBLs. That's probably the best PG to hoop in to me. Um, I also don't like hooping in uh, if if it's Under Armour, it has to be Curry's. If it's other, if it's not Curry's, I'm not hooping in them. Like simple. Yeah. When I tell you I had, a, I had a corn on my foot, bro, I, that was my first time having a corn on my pinky toe. I had a corn, and I was so mad. Cause I got good feet. I got good looking feet. It's not LeBron feet. I got good looking feet. I could be a feet model. I was you, you so got mad. The shack, you got the shack feet, bro. Oh no, sir. <laughs> <laughs> bro, my feet, bro. I'm telling you, my feet is That's good. Kind of so it's, it's got to be up. New Paul George, that's a that's the answer. Yeah, it, yeah. Paul George is my favorite too. And I like I like the uh the Giannis's, like the under the Kumpos. I like those. And of course the Why Nots. The Why Nots are probably the most comfortable shooter hoop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You gotta shout right. those out. They pay you for that. I'll put. Oh my said, god. He, he texted Russ the interview after like, yo, I shouted it out. What's the word? <laughs> <laughs> Just lost the playoff game like two minutes ago, but yo, bro. <laughs> well, that's so tough. Uh, poster or ankle breaker? Which one? Oh, uh, shoot. Um. Oh, that's hard. Um. It for me, it gotta be a poster, bro. It gotta be a poster to me. For real, I'm I'm saying. I, I gotta, I gotta be mean and loud with mine. Like if I post, if it, if if it's a posterizer, it gotta be so much disrespect. Or I could just walk away, like nothing happened. Yeah, yeah I you, love that one. That's the that's the best thing is you can either yell at them and like walk over them, or you can be so nice exactly. on about it. It's so funny. Exactly, you can just like walk away or just run. Like if you dunk on them, just run back on defense. That's that's probably the most like that's probably the most disrespect. Like. like you can get like, like, I all this type of mentality. Like, it's crazy. All right. If you had to be an NBA player in a specific moment in time, who would you be and why? So, like, if you could be like Jordan, like Adam did Jordan when he broke, um, oh, I forget whose ankles in, against uh, Utah in the finals. And then mm -hmm. I said Kyrie step back three over Curry. What moment would you choose? Oh, um, I'm gonna have to say it. It gotta, it gotta be, it, it gotta be KD, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. Kevin Durant, bro. I'm Which sorry. moment, bro? It gotta be the OKC moments, bro. Oh, when he, when he hit that, when he, when he was in the corner, he hit. Yeah, it was in the corner when he was hitting. It. I think it was against the Mavs. Am I am I mistaken? Is it the Mavs when he hit that corner three? I'm blanking on the. It year. was like was he was. Kidding. It was very contested too. It was lucky, but it, it went in. But he made it seem like it was like something that he's always been doing. So that's why, I don't know. Gosh, yeah. And when he posterized that one dude on the Pacers. Bro, oh my god, I was really watching it live when it happened. I really spilled all my spilled all my juice that day too. I was mad. <laughs> spilled all my jumbo juice. Have you been watching it a lot of NBA, a lot of bubbles, uh playoffs? Of course. Of course. Who winning it? I'm kinda mad that uh, bro. I there's a right I'm, answer. Right answer. Uh, it's where we're from. Yeah, <laughs> you know where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> bro, 
Nah, bro. I don't. I don't know who's gonna win. Jeez. But I want. I for sure want the. I, I for sure want the Blazers to knock off the Lakers. You wanted them to, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I had bet on the uh, Blazers, and then like, uh, unfortunately, I lost to my friend. So. so you gotta know. Yeah, it's not a good moment. Over. <laughs> yeah, if, if LeBron's on takeover, it's game. Yeah, he pick and think- he. He pick and chooses for me. Hmm. Yeah. So who you got winning that? Bro, uh, <laughs> if I had to choose, because, like, I don't have a favorite team in the NBA, but uh, if I had to choose, I'm probably going to pick the – nah, nah, that's not a good pick. Uh, <laughs> I'm probably going to pick the Lakers. I don't know. <laughs> Safe bet. <laughs> yeah. Safe bet. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm picking the Celtics. I'll, I'll throw it out there. Yeah. Right. I was gonna pick the Celtics, but I didn't want to get made fun of. Hey, no, we're Celtics. I'm from Boston. Well, I'm sorry. But, yeah. I was gonna pick the Boston Celtics, but I want to be safe about it. Come from LA. Hey, that's fine. Yeah, that's true. It's gonna be LA versus Boston the finals anyway. So that's for sure, like one of us will be right. For sure. That. All right, then we got a little bit more serious of a question. What's the best advice you've ever gotten? when it comes to basketball? The best advice. Take the words, not the tone. Mm, that's that's the actually fire. Who gave you that? That's actually fire. Um, it's my high school coach. Uh, he's been my AAU coach. He's been my middle school coach, and now he's my high school coach. Damn, I like that. Uh, that's a good one, for sure. I agree with that, too. Because I, I, was, I was about it. I was a powder. I was very emotional on the court. Things didn't go my way. You probably catch me like you know, hanging my head down. And it wasn't because of, like anybody else. It was because of me. I, it was like if I want to score the basket, like maybe I'll turn the ball over. Maybe I just and, and if things didn't go my way, I would get mad at myself, and uh, coach would get on me about it. And then I'll actually get even more mad at myself. Just hearing like his aggression, yelling at it. it wasn't like malicious. It was more like motivational. Uh, but from then, when he told me to just to take the word out the tone, it's like he's just loud talking. Mm-hmm. I like that. It's not even yelling at me, and, and I from then I just you know I, I don't I don't really get as mad. I just let things go. It just happens. The mentality I have. For sure. All right. Here's the last question. Who should hop on the podcast next? And if you know them, you got to set it up for us. Oh. I got to say my guy from from Bay, bro. I got to say. I already know what I'm doing with Trey. For sure. Yeah, I already set that up. But I got I got to pick somebody else. You got to do one with Barrington. All right, bet. I'm done. That man Barrington, you're probably gonna be like you got you gotta do it with Barrington. For Stop sure. Him. I'll hit him up. Barrington's probably one of the most slept on guards. Like no Oh crowd. yeah. Well both of you guys, your entire team was man. Like, like that last year. Mm. For sure. It's just yeah, and I was yeah. I've always told you that that once you get to see a hall they'll open up. Especially with you and B West both on the wing, that's gonna be hard to guard because you guys are both you guys both play D. You can both shoot when you can both drive. It's going to be tough to For guard. sure. For sure. I can't wait. I got to get to know B. West. I'm going to text him. Yeah, for sure. You're a good kid. All right. Well, for we sure, got for sure. The time's running out on the Zoom. So that's all we have today. Big shout out, though, for coming on. I appreciate you, Ty. Uh, good luck this for year. Sure. Hope you all have a season. And if you do, I know y'all are going to take that, so that's it. And uh, good luck at Senior Hall. I'll catch you, though, for sure before then. It's been Talk That Talk podcast, episode two, and we are out.